One of the big questions I get asked when we're looking at logistics technology is the question about research. So where do we look and how do we look? How do we start looking? How do we filter the wheat from the chaff, so to speak? So I thought we'd really quickly touch today on research. So you're familiar with the decision-making mind map. So let's just zoom into research, which is over here. Nice and smooth. Search engines. So search engines are things like Google, um, Bing, and a few other ones. Uh, DuckDuckGo is another one. The key thing to remember about search engines is that, as particularly in the case of Google and Bing, they are not completely independent. So their goal is to sell advertising dollars. Um, and there's two ways of getting to the top ranking on both. One way is by spending money, which is what we call pay-per-click. So people with the deepest pockets uh, hit the top. The other one is through the dark art of search engine optimization, which I'm not going to go into today because I'm not an absolute expert in it. But basically, pretty much speaking, is search engine optimization is by doing things that companies think Google and other search engines will like to rank pretty highly. Um, and there's a whole bunch of things. Usually it involves a lot of people doing a lot of work, writing a lot of articles, uh, doing this thing called backlinking where you get other websites to link back to your website. Um, Google tends to like that. And what happens when you do that is that um, it alters the results. So sometimes the software you might see or the hardware you might see won't be the best hardware or software. It'll just be the one where the people have the deepest pockets or the best marketing. Um, so it's important when looking through the searches that you don't ignore page two of the search results. Um, and that you look beyond that uh, and looking really to what you're, you're looking for, which often means going deeper than just searching in this example for a freight management system. For example, this has hit me with a Telstra ad uh, and something else about wanted.de. Uh, scroll through, scroll through, FMSTMS, that's probably our first freight management system. .com, maybe not an Australian one, so I need to look for Australian ones. You've got a few other ones here. You've got Carrier, which looks like an Australian one, etc., etc. ImageSoft, what else have got? Markship. So there's a few there. So there's a bunch of different ones to look at and more results. So I recommend that when you're doing this, you go through and have a look at what they all offer. Grab the first half dozen. This is using a search engine called DuckDuckGo, uh, which doesn't track you, which means that your searches every single time are a little bit more independent and don't relate to searches you've made previously. So you can oftentimes get a, a fresh perspective on what you're doing. Uh, as opposed to a, a normal sort of Google search, freight management system. I run a little um, plugin here called Ubersuggest. What it does, it gives me a background into what the companies that I'm searching for are actually doing. So here you can say, see that the people at the top have paid uh, up to an over $7.62 per click to be up there. So your deep pockets is up here. These companies here are the deep pockets companies. Further down, you've got, once you get through the paid ads, which now on Google look pretty much exactly the same as a normal, <laughs> normal search result. Then you have these other companies and you can see that they're spending their money in different ways. So looking at the domain traffic, the domain score. Um, these are the ones that have got the backlinks going, for example. So there's 33 websites linking into this one. So again, this doesn't mean that the software or the websites are different, uh, sorry, are better than other ones. It just means they're different and they've used different search engine optimization or dollars to get there. So it's really important that you're aware of that when you're looking into it. The final thing before I go um, is, now we'll talk about reviews next time. Um, I'm Marsh from Ask Marsh. AskMarsh.com, I consult and help companies make better decisions in logistics technology. Happy to chat when you can. See ya.